Good morning, students. Hope you are all fine. Today we will start our online mathematics classes. It's 27th of April 2020. As we have already studied chapter number first and exercise 2A in chapter number second. So today we will take start from exercise 2B. Before starting exercise 2B, let me tell you one thing that what will we study in exercise 2b and why we are studying exercise 2b simply we can say that in this exercise in this exercise we will study that how negative and positive numbers are related to each other simply we can say that how to add positive and negative numbers furthermore in this exercise we will learn the relation between a positive sign and a negative sign Simply we can say that if we multiply a positive sign with a negative sign then what will we get? And if we multiply a negative sign with a negative sign then what will we get? Got it? Now open page 36 and look at question number first. Question number first on page number. Before starting question number first. Let me tell you one thing that if we multiply plus sign with a plus sign then what will we get? Simply we can say that. And the relation of mathematical symbols. So if we multiply plus with a plus sign, then we will get a plus sign. If we multiply plus with a minus sign, then we will get a minus sign. If we multiply minus with a plus sign, then we will get again a minus sign. And if we multiply minus with a minus sign, then we will get a plus sign. Simply we can say that if we multiply two similar sign then we will get a plus sign and if we multiply uh, if we multiply different sign then we will get a negative sign. Got it? Now look at question number first on page number 36. Find the value of each of the following. Page number 36 question number first. Look at option number a 6 plus bracket open minus 2 bracket close you can also pronounce it as 6 plus into minus 2 now look at this question in this question here is plus and here is minus so if we multiply this plus with the minus then what will we get we will get a minus sign Got it? So now look at the solution. If we multiply plus with the minus sign, then we will get the minus sign. And the 2 is on itself. So now 6 minus 2, what will we get? We will get 4. 4 is your answer. Got it? Now look at option number B. Minus 5 plus 8. You can solve this question by checking whether the sign are similar or the sign are different. Simply we can say that if the sign are similar like plus plus and minus minus then we will do addition. And if the sign are different one is plus and the other is minus or one is minus and the other is plus then what will we do? We will do subtraction. Now look at this question. Here is one is plus minus and the other is plus. So what will we do? We will do subtraction. We will subtract this 5 from 8. And what sign will we select? We will select the sign of the largest number. Now look at this. Here is 5 and the other side is 8. So which one is the largest number and what sign the largest number is holding? The largest number is holding the plus sign. So here what will we select? We will select plus sign and if we subtract 5 from 8 then what will we get? We will get 3. So plus 3 is our answer. Got it? Now look at question number Two. Question. Now look at question number two. Evaluate each of the following. In question number two, you have to simply subtract and add negative and positive numbers and the same method and the same principle you have to follow. Now look at option number 
A minus into minus seven. Now look at this question. That how will we solve this question? In this question, you have to simply multiply this minus sign with this minus sign. And what will we get if we multiply minus with a minus sign? We will get a plus sign. So if we multiply minus with a minus sign, then we will get a plus sign. So your answer is plus and seven on its own place. So this is the answer of your option number A in question number two. Now look at option number B. Five minus into minus three. In this question, look at this minus. And the other minus. If we multiply minus with this minus, then we will get again a plus sign. So, what will be your solution? Five plus three. Five plus three is equal to eight. Eight is your answer. Now look at option number C. Look at option number C. Minus four and minus seven. In this question, both the signs are same. In previous questions, the signs were different. That's why we were doing subtraction. But in this case, both the signs are similar. So, if the signs are similar, then what we do? We will do addition. So, and what sign will we select? We will select exact the corresponding sign. So, select your sign which is. Minus and add the rest of the numbers. So seven plus four, we will get eleven. So eleven is your answer of option number C. Now look at question number three on page number thirty-seven. Look at question number three on page number thirty-seven. Now look at question number three. Look at option number A. What we have? We have four plus into minus seven minus into minus three. So according to Burma's formula, what will we do first? We will do addition, and after that we will do subtraction. So look at the solution. Write four on its own place. And plus multiply by minus. What will we get? We will get minus. Then seven on its own place. And minus multiply by minus. What will we get? We will get a plus sign and three on its own place. Now apply Burma's formula. First do addition and after that do subtraction. So add both of these. Four plus three we will get seven and minus seven on its own place. So seven minus seven is equal to zero. So your answer is zero for option number A. Now look at option number B. Minus three, minus five, plus into minus nine. Now look at. The solution. Write minus three on its own place, minus five also on its own place, and multiply plus with the minus. What will we get? We will get a minus sign and write nine on its own place. Now look at this question. All the sign are similar. All the sign All the signs are same. So what will we do? We will do addition. So add all these numbers. Three plus five is equal to eight, and eight plus nine is equal to seventeen. And write minus sign as we have minus. So your answer is minus seventeen. Now look at option number C. One minus eight minus into minus eight. Right. One on its own place. 
minus 8 also on its own place and minus multiply by minus what will we get plus and write 8 on its own place first do addition and after that do subtraction add 1 and 8 what will we get we will get 9 and subtract 8 from it so what will we get we will get 1 you can also write it as plus 1 now look at question number four question number four find the value of each of the following in question number four look at option number a in this question you have to solve or simply add or subtract negative and positive number the same method the same principle you have to follow now look at option number a what is it 23 plus into minus 11 got it now look at the solution that how will we solve this 23 on its own place and plus multiply by minus what will we get we will get minus and write 11 on its own place now 23 minus 11 what will we get we will get 12 this is your answer for the option number a now look at option number b minus 19 plus 12 now look at this question both the signs are different one is minus and the other is plus so what will we do we will do subtraction and what sign will we select we will select the sign of the largest number that means that we will select the sign of 19 got it what is it it is minus so select minus and after that subtract 12 from 19 if we subtract 12 from 19 then what will we get we will get 7 that is your answer for option number b now look at option number c look at option number c 17 plus into minus 20 9 look at the solution 17 on its own place plus multiply by minus what will we get we will get minus and 29 on its own place now here what will we do we will select the sign of the largest number and what is it it is minus and after that both the signs are different one is plus and the other is minus so we will subtract 17 from 29 if we subtract 17 from 29 what will we get 9 minus 7 you have 2 and 2 minus 1 we have 1 so 12 is your answer for option number c dear students this page shows your home assignment got it and solve uh, the rest of your question and also already solve question at your um, homework notebooks thank you